budget peeps how we doing how we doing i hope you're enjoying this glorious sunshine i hope it's not too uh too much for you here in the uk with the heat uh, i think we were up to about 29 degrees today so yeah <laughs> oh well we'll be moaning when it's snowing again won't we <laughs> right i'm here to do a check-in and an unstuffing of the binder and our check-in is for week one so we're checking in what happened during week one of August. So let's get started. I left you last week when I went to the free bingo um, with my son. And we've got a little win. We have got a little win to go in there, which I'll stuff and write down on my board, on my book in a bit. I haven't stuck another sticker on, but we have got a little win. And I am going to total this up today to see how much we've uh, we've got. That's reminded me to do that. On the Friday, uh, our luscious lunar, lunar, <laughs> luscious loony, the lunar, loony bus. <laughs> oh, that's a mouthful now, isn't it? Went in because as the following Sunday, the window would not go down. So that was pretty awkward for me. So we dropped it into the garage um, on the Monday, left it with them all week, and we got it back on the Friday. And the bill was £178 and it's still not repaired properly. So it's going back in tomorrow, which is um, a week later. <laughs> Today's Thursday uh, this week. So it's going back in tomorrow to be looked at again because it's just still not right. The window's going up when it should go down and down when it should go up. And when you lock the car, it goes down quarter, quarter of an inch, which it shouldn't do. Whereas before it weren't moving up or down at all. So for a new regulator, it cost, and the fitting of that new regulator cost £178. We then proceeded to buy a new switch, uh, which had to be fitted as well. So yeah, um, that was £10.99. And we're still no better off because it's still not working properly. So yeah, joys of having a, joys of having, um, a vehicle to maintain. <laughs> <laughs> so we borrowed the money out of other sinking funds to pay for that which will go back out of husband's overtime money as he gets paid so that's his sort of forever sort of um loan to himself if you like one of these days it'll get paid off hopefully and luna won't have any more problems um took a bit of burger king i had a voucher for a free uh well i had 401 or whatever it points 420 points expiring in my burger king app so I had a, a Whopper meal with that Burger King uh, point, sorry, and bought Hubby a five ninety nine um meal. I can't remember what it was. So that come out of the bank. We then proceeded to go shopping, and I've forgotten to write down. I will write down how much we spent on shopping. But yeah, I was at Bingo on that Friday as well, which cost me six pounds. And during that Saturday, unfortunately, I found out from the chemist that I've got shingles. So that was something I didn't want to find out. I thought it was just a heat rash or maybe I've been bitten a few times by a mosquito or something, but it turned out it was shingles. So he gave me some medicine. So I've been resting this week, trying to. One of the, one of the problems with having... ME um chronic fatigue syndrome um ME CFS as I call it is when you get a virus or a reactivation of a virus which is what shingles is it's a reactivation of the chickenpox virus from when I had chickenpox when I was a child um it makes all your symptoms for ME get worse and one of the symptoms this time it's made for me get worse is um brain what's called brain fog it's when you can't think straight and it takes you a long time to process and you've probably noticed in my last few videos i can't count to save my life and <laughs> it is extremely frustrating you you know yesterday i couldn't string a sentence together very well so yeah it was um it's one of them but i am on the mend the shingles rust is now starting to disappear so i'm on the mend so yeah, so very, very poorly with that. I noticed it on the Tuesday. I went very well. Um, I, I, I went back to my mum's and crashed out on her couch literally for two, two or so hours after visiting my brother and listening to some music. And I thought it was just my Emmy playing me up. But obviously, I'd got the shingles developing at that point. So, yeah, mum hasn't seen me poorly. I don't tend to show anybody when I'm really, really poorly. I tend to stay in the house. So, mm. 
wasn't nice having to go back to mum's after I'd already visited her and crash out on her couch because yeah it was I was just too poorly to drive home so and she was the closest to me at that point in time so I have rested on the Monday I did do the closeout video uh, Monday was no spend I did my plan with me video and I rested I got paid an extra pay because I get paid fortnightly I got paid um fortnightly again so this pay here because hubby got paid here on the well you got paid on the 26th because the 28th was no that's not right hubby got paid on the 28th i'm thinking the 28th was a bank holiday so i put his pay down I put his pay down. Oops, sorry, I put his pay down on the 26th, but he didn't get paid on the 26th. He would have got paid on the 28th. Now I'm confused. See what see? I'm just totally confusing myself there. Uh no, there's no bank holiday in July. I wonder why I did that. Why would I put it on the 26th? Ah, oh, that's right. What am I like? Because this column is at the beginning of the page. I'm assuming this is a, a Monday, but it's not. It's a Sunday. So, yes, he would have got paid on the 28th, but he never gets paid on a Sunday. They always pay him the working day before if it falls on a Saturday or Sunday. So that's why his pay fell on the 20, on, on the Friday, the 26th. No, I'm, I'm confusing myself, Talia. <laughs> excuse me I'm poorly <laughs> so there we go so that's why and I got paid on the Monday so because hubby's pay got paid on the 26th we started our week one there even though we weren't in August because his pay fell there for that month for all you know for the money we use for August to pay the bills so this pay will also fall into August I know it's confusing but I know what I'm doing <laughs> On the Monday night, I went to poker and I had a win. Woohoo! So that's another little bit of money I will be stuffing into here. So happy days. On the Tuesday, I just rested. Um, I had a, an appointment with the bank manager, <laughs> with the mortgage people, uh, sorting out the new mortgage. I was supposed to go to the hospital there and have a, a barrage of blood tests but again I was too poorly and I thought the blood tests would probably be all messed up because of these shingles anyway so I cancelled it and just stayed at home and rested um, because I'd been on Amazon getting um, Hubby's switch for his car I noticed a couple of good deals on Amazon I also purchased a planner which was $12.99 I know it's early. I know we're only in the middle of the year, but I want to start planning ahead. I want to start planning holidays and things like that for next year so that we can start saving up for them in advance. Because before we know where we are in 12 months time from now, it's going to be holiday season again. And it's given me 12 months to plan and have that money in situ ready for then. So um, as we're sort of like coming into holiday mode I'm like yeah okay we need to think about what we're doing next year and getting all those plans in place and and so forth so I bought my planner so I can plan ahead I will put a picture of it here and I also bought a 2025 wall planner for £3.62 which was an absolute bargain I use a 2024 wall planner that I bought for 10 pence <laughs> which was on sale in B&M um, I bought it two months ago so um I wish I'd have bought it at the beginning of the year because wow would it have helped me plan for the birthdays and this that and the other and weddings and babies being born and christenings and all sorts of things so yeah I'm so grateful to have that planner for 10 pence I put it up on the wall and started planning everything and um, I'll put a picture of it here the planner I've got and then I went and bought this one for £3.62 so happy days that's due to be delivered today um, I added up, I put 15 into per, Polly, not Polly, sorry, Pippa, and we added her up as well, which was 167.57. So there we go. So let's unstuff the wallet from last week. I have already done the spread for next month for the August spread. Um, started filling it in um, as we're on Thursday the 1st today I will just let you know what has happened so far we put the £175 into the emergency fund that we do every week and then hubby went and broke our couch <laughs> 
I've got an electric couch because of my disability. I haven't got the strength to put the, I need a recliner because of my, I've got an illness. It's called POTS. It's postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, which means um, when I change position, my blood pressure goes crazy. So I've got a recliner sofa um, to help with that. But the problem is because I've also got ME, which affects the energy in my body, I haven't got the strength to put the legs down on the recliner. So therefore, I have to have an electric recliner. And the sofa we bought uh, has a double electric reclining each end. <laughs> and hubby broke his end. My end works fine, but his end is knackered. And didn't he go and wreck it when it was in the uh, lying down position? So I can't literally get around the couch walking out of the uh, living room now because um, it's in the lying down position and we can't get it up or down or anything. It's just totally stuck. So I thought, right, what do I do? Do I employ somebody to come out and fix it? Um, which I don't know how much it's going to cost. And I don't know how long they're going to be and I need it sorted now and la, 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 la. But I instead I went on Facebook and I started looking to see if one was available and I came across one for £100 picture here. And they charged me £40 for delivery and I cannot fault these people enough. And it's a brand new couch. Um, they specialise in new and secondhand um, furniture. This was a new couch. The only thing that wrong was wrong with it was it was it's a customer return, basically. And what was wrong with it was a tear in between two cushions that once, once the cushions are like that, you can't even see it's in, in the cushion, so you can't even see it. So I am so happy. I have got a double brand new electric reclining sofa for 100 quid with 40 quid delivery. And the people were amazing. And these are the people who, who, who I highly recommend. Go and buy your furniture from them. Go and check out their, their uh, place. Um, I'm, you know, I'm told they're in the, the market hall or whatever it is, and they're open Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday, I think. Check them out. Go check them out. They were amazing. Absolutely amazing. Arrived on time. Very courteous. Very efficient. I can't credit them enough. And I am one happy bunny with my new couch, which is pictured here in my living room. <laughs> so there we are. I'm going to leave you there. I've got free bingo tonight, which I've not written in. Um, Free bingo happy days and we've got the tv insurance for uh curries coming out as well as our uh mortgage water rates and electricity so all our utility bills electric and gas and what have you are coming out today from the bank so right then let's unstuff the wallets um from last week oh, pop that back there this is heavy because it is full of change. So let's get to, da da, I move all my cards. All my cards are here. So I'm, I put them down like that because I don't want you to see them, obviously. So let's start with the allowances. Da 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 da. How much have we got left? So um, we have got £8.16. Look at that. I kept a track of this week. <laughs> That's what I spent my pennies on, da -da -da -da. and I kept a track of it, and we've got £8.16 left, which is in here. That makes it easier, doesn't it, when you keep a track, when you know what you're doing, you know where you've been, and you know what you spent your money on. It really does make a difference. There we go. And it's lovely because I've been out to bingo, and I've been out to poker, and I've had a little win at both, which is amazing. So I am so happy that you know i have 20 quid and i've got you know hubby hubby has given me two pound 56 back for showing me them i say to him what give us your change <laughs> he has his 20 quid and i nick his change <laughs> and it all goes in and my change does it all goes in together and you'll be surprised how much this bit of change every week adds up i just can't believe how much it adds up to over the year you know, you've seen the, the, the savings. My mum always said, look after the pennies and the pounds take care of themselves. So let's count it. 1, 2, uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 a pound. That's three pound. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's four pounds. Oops, dropping it. Oh, gosh, what a fingers. 2, 4, and more 20s. 2, 4, 6. Eight, ten. There's another one there. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Another one there. Two, four, six, 
eights and a pound. A lot of this change came from the garage when I bought the water for one pound forty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, a pound, and from hubby. He gave me a load of change. <laughs> I don't mind though because I need the five piece and twenty piece for my challenges, so I don't mind the change. Is that like, that was a pound, wasn't it? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pounds sixteen p. Right, let's just put that up. Oh, I don't. Yeah, put that up there a minute. I'm going to zoom you out so you can see a bit better. There we go. Right. Let's close that a second because I want to put all these 20 P's. 20s, any more 20s, any more 20 P's. This is what we're doing with these 20 P's. There's lots of them. I'm just going to stuff all them. Bring it over quick. Let me just move that a little bit. So there you go. I don't know what it is. It's a, oh, it's the the thing on the phone. There we go. That's better. Right, I'm just going to stuff all these straight into there because we're saving up for the Monopoly Challenge. And I am saving to go in September. So um, I have a conundrum because they've released a statement um, on the internet that the prices are cheaper in August. So I'm like, do I pay? But you've got to book and pay before the bank holiday Monday in August. So I'm like, do I go in August and save like 60 quid? I think it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Um, my, my birthday's in September, but you know, I think I'm going to go in August. So if I've got to borrow the money out of my emergency fund and put it back out my birthday money, then so be it, because I'll be saving an extra sixty quid, isn't it? So it's got to be, it's got to make sense. Surely it's got to make sense. So uh, five peas. Let's stuff all the five peas into the doggy. It's got to make sense. All I've got to do now is book it and make it happen. So um, the money for the couch, by the way. Um, we we had to use it out of the emergency fund, so I took 140 quid out of the emergency fund, and I'm grateful that the emergency fund is there. And my new couch, I'm absolutely ecstatic with it. I just can't, you know, it's brilliant. So uh, let's put all this money into the penny challenge: 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2, 4, 6, 8. One pound two four six, so it's one pound six going into the penny challenge. Let's grab it down. Oh, it's an heavy old thing. So I'm going to mark off. Oh, let me get my calculator out. This is maths, <laughs> and you know me and maths. Oh, one pound and six p minus the next one on there, 0.85 means 21 is 21 available yay so i'm going to mark off 21 and 85 there you go that's done oh. no i want to drop it on i caggy handed me there we go put it in yeah it's amazing how much these pennies and whatnot they over time they add up. Oh, put them up the top. There we go. Move that out the way again. So I've got. Oh, I've got to bring that down again. <laughs> I'll put that down a minute. Stay. Don't fall over. Oh, don't be awkward. Just oh, whatever. I've got to put 50p in the 50p challenge. Da da. And I'm going to put two for out. Oh, and show me the money, honey. There we go. So I've got to track them in the binder. So let me just get that down to track them and get my silver pen and my yellow pen. There we go. Oh, I've got me oh, put my yellow pen out. I put my yellow pen before I needed it. <laughs> oh dear, right, yeah. I hope you're all good. I hope you're all having a good time. Right, let's have a look. We've got 150p to put in there. We've done three jars already at £75. Uh, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 75, sorry, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, pound 50 is in there now. 
and I've got to colour one two pound coins in because um, hubby gave me some well there was a pound I think in his money and a pound in mine there we go Oh, there's two pound coins going in the jar. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pounds in his jar now. On top of the hundred pound that we put into savings already that we changed up previously a few months ago, I think it was, or a month ago, I can't remember. Pop that back like that. So that is the change from our groceries. Let me just get back to the envelope. Sorry, from our allowances. That's the change from our allowances, all stuffed into their various savings fund. So that is then zeroed out again. Da -da, I'll do that later off camera. Then we've got our groceries. Now I was so, yeah, we didn't have much of a budget, did we? I can't remember what the budget was now. I will write the budget here because I can't remember exactly what it was, but it weren't a lot. <laughs> I think it was, um, I will tell a lie. It was 16 pound. It's on there. Look, I know what the budget was. It was 16 quid. That's what we had after we'd done our stuffing and one thing and another, 16 quid. So that was a bit of an ask, wasn't it? So what happened was I went to Asda and spent £15.5p. I'd, I'd done a um, menu planner, which is here. There you go. That was our menu plan. So I went to Asda, spent £15.5p. I went to Aldi and spent £6.23. Um, Asda again, £3.42. I had to go back. I think I forgot some. And Home Bargains, I spent £1.15. So um, in Asda, I got bread, two lots of crisps, a pizza, some mayonnaise, apples, pears, cheese, pita bread, mushrooms, some chicken, um, a whole chicken for £2.95. Uh, kidney beans. Um, I got some margarine, some milk. Um, I got two lots of chicken... Um, what they call it, chicken wings, reduced to £1.34 a pack, and they were massive packs. And I got some celery, so that's all the things I bought from Asda. I went to Home Bargains and bought some golden syrup, because I said to my husband, instead of buying them bars that you have at work, why don't we just make some flapjacks with some ingredients that we've already got in the cupboard, sugar. Got some golden syrup because I needed that, and the oats. So I think that was all it is, is three ingredients. And I bought some nuts. Um, yeah, the nuts were on there. So I got some porridge, a big bag of porridge for 90p, and some nuts. And I made him nut flapjacks, loads of them for work out of that. Uh, bought some uh, reduced mushrooms, a reduced lettuce um, for 38p. And I bought some reduced sausages for 73p. And I bought a small packet of yeast for 50p because I had designs on making a... Um, Nan bread or um, some pita bread, but no, that didn't happen. <laughs> I went round Daldi's and spent the six twenty three. Um, I bought a birthday present for a quid. Can you believe that? Um, it was a painting set that they'd reduced to a quid, and I've got uh, two children's birthdays coming up this month, so that's going to come in handy to put into the was their birthday presents. So I took the pound back and put it back in here from um, the birthday binder. So I bought some reduced tomatoes, some noodles, some baked beans, uh, some more lettuce, which was on reduced, little gem lettuce, some cherry tomatoes, a cucumber, some digested biscuits, some natural yogurt, some carrots and six raw, uh, six raw eggs. <laughs> They're going to be raw, aren't they? Because you don't buy them cooked, do you? <laughs> so that's all the things I bought to make the things on the menu. So we did obviously go over £16. So what I did was I took £10.74, which was all the money I had left in the safety net, I believe. There you go. That was everything all gone at the safety net. Took all of it. I'll just leave that there because I'm, I'm rocking everybody. Sorry about that. And it left me with £1.89 in change, which is here. £1.2460. 70, 80, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. And we've not starved. We've enjoyed our meals. Um, they've been creative. Um, in fact, what I've found in doing this shopping challenge again this week is um, when I made the chilli, I made a massive batch of chilli. 
um, from frozen. Um, I bought some minced beef and froze it before and that was in the freezer. So I, I managed to use the rice and made a batch of chilli and um, I made enough to give me dinners for two or three days as well in the afternoons. So happy days. So where's this money going? It's going in to our hamper binder. Let's grab it down without knocking yours. So I'm going to put it in. We're saving up for Christmas hamper. That's what we're trying to get, 250 quid. We now only need 20, 40, 55 pounds to complete this challenge. And I'm just going to throw this money in here because I know I've not got enough yet to create another fiver. So I'm not going to count it. I'm just going to chuck it in and have a look next week to see if I've got another fiver. So that's the change out of our shopping money as well as 20 quid a month that goes into this hamper binder to save for a hamper for Christmas. And the reason we do this is because at Christmas time, all those big joints of meat come out, didn't they? And if you, what we do is we buy them, we slice them all up, put them in the, in the, um, and chop them and cube them and do what we've got to do, put them in bags, put them in the freezer. And they normally last us around till Easter. So this money is, is helping our shopping budget from not only Chris, not only Christmas, but all the way through to Easter. So that's why we save up this money to, to help us get through those months, through all those winter months with the the cheaper meat, the cheaper cuts of meat when they come out of Christmas, because meat is so expensive. And, you know, you say to me, how do you manage on such a little bit of money? And these are the tricks I employ <laughs> to manage on such a little bit of money. So I hope that tip helps somebody. So with transportation, moving on. Hubby had his petrol, I had mine, and we've got only 50, 60, 70, 80, one pence left. Now, normally I'd put pound coins in there in the 100 pound savings challenge, and I haven't got a pound coin. So I'm just going to put it in Smiler. <laughs> Come on, Dad, Smiler, you're getting a bonus, babes. So that change is just going in there this week. Happy days. So that is done. So I'm going to put that back in there. That's our transport done. So what have we got next? We've got pets that has got a little bit of change left over. So I'm going to leave that in there because it helps buy the extras for the birds and so forth. And I will be stuffing that again this week. Nothing in health and beauty. Nothing in personal and I have taken the one pound out of here. Birthday gift, one pound gives us £10.47. So that's what we've got in here, £10.47, because I took £10 out of the birthday binder because I have got to go and find my friend's birthday present because we're going to her birthday on the 10th of August. So that is it for the binder. That is it for the check-in. Um, now I'm going to stuff quickly the money come back come back quick 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 oh there we go i'm going to show you what i won at the bingo and at poker so i played two pound at poker and i won a fiver happy days and i won a 10 pound uh, line at the bingo which i shared with hubby because we were both there that day and therefore there's a fiver there as well so i've got 10 pounds to stuff into this hundred envelope challenge so let's have a look. I still haven't stuck these down, so I've got to turn them over carefully. So I put the eight in there. I've done them ones. I don't drop the money out. So I started on this nine pound, didn't I? So if I take that fifty p back, put that fiver in. Oh gosh, come on! Put that fiver in there and put another quid in there. That is that £9 completed. So that page is completed. Now let's start on 13. So I've got £4.50 to go into the £13 slot. There we go. Did I finish that? What is that? 24, yeah, 24 is in there. So that's £13.50 in there. So I can mark off please don't have the money fall out number nine completely because we started it and start number 13 i'll just get my pen there we go 
So mark off number nine completely because we've finished that. And start number 13. I've only done a little bit of 13, haven't I? I'll do. There we go, so that's done. Right, done. Let's get rid of that. Put that to one side because one thing I wanted to do was put that £10 worth of winnings da, 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 here. So I won't put another sticker on because there's no room for another sticker. I will just write um, in the bottom there. Uh, I'll put plus five on the poker and five pounds bingo. And that was on that Thursday, which was the 26th of the 7th. So I'm going to count up how much we've won during the month, which has gone into the 100 envelope challenge. So 60 plus 5 plus £12.50 plus 10 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5 equals... There you go, £106.50p extra that we've won this month. Wow. <laughs> I'm out up with that. Happy days. And that's gone into the 100 envelope challenge towards my disability car. Happy days. So there we go. Happy days. I'm just going to take a photo. £106.50. There we go. <laughs> done lovelies thank you thank you so much for getting this far into the video um i'm looking forward to reading your comments please leave it leave a like and and uh if you're not already subscribed please subscribe to the channel it does help with the algorithms and all that kind of thing and um we're getting close to giving another giveaway when we hit 400 subscribers so woo, that'd be nice <laughs> until then i'm going to leave it there i'll see you again tomorrow and we'll be stuffing the wallet again for next week. So until then, I'm going to say ciao for now.